Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. I'm here visiting my friend Chef Micah and he's made some dishes that we're gonna make some photos of. So I wanted to keep it nice and simple. You know, I was traveling here and I have a, you know, a pretty small bag. So I just took some speed lights with me. We're gonna do it really super simple. I'm using a Canon system with TTL and a couple of soft boxes. So basically I've got the plate, the first set of uh, hors d'oeuvres he's made uh, are here on the table. And I've just kind of taken my Lasso Light Easy Box. I have it tipped over top, creating kind of a, uh, an even light across the top and a bit, little bit of drop shadow in the front. That gives you texture and shape. Um, so I almost always light food and product kind of behind and above like that. Pretty simple. I'm in TTL. I actually had to adjust the TTL to give me a little bit more exposure. Um, so you'll note that with TTL, you, sometimes you gotta give it a little tweak to get it exactly where you wanted it. I want to make sure I picked up enough detail in all of the various uh, textures that are on the plate. Um, but there was a little bit too much shadow because of my angle, so I took a second speed light uh, in a different group and I put it in a Lasso Light speed light uh, box, which is a little baby box. I just have it sitting right on the table just to give me fill in the front. Um, at first I had it up on a stand and we tried a few different options, but that was throwing two shadows and we didn't want to have two shadows, it just looks weird, so you don't want to do that. So lay it on the table, keeps all your light going back, not, no additional shadows, fills it in, makes it look really nice. Play with that ratio a little bit. I want to have shadow, I just don't want it to be so dark that I can't see all the food, especially with dealing with the, the beets and stuff. Um, so we filled it in enough that we thought we had enough detail um, in all the pieces of food that we have. And the other thing I'm going to do once I'm set here, I'm shooting at f16 to get everything sharpened and focused, everything's good on my camera. I'm at a 250th of a second, so I don't, none of this light in the room is affecting my shot. I'm gonna shoot a couple shots like this in my basic wide composition. Then I'm gonna use my flash exposure compensation on the camera, gonna, the one that's on the camera, not on my controller on top. And I'm gonna actually adjust the flash of the whole scene up and down. This way I have an overexposed and an underexposed image. This way, later when I'm looking at my photos, if I need to bring out like, detail somewhere, I'll have other images I can lay on top and kind of combine them. So depending on how much contrast you have in your scene, you might want to do one stop overexposed or two stops overexposed or even three stops over and underexposed when you're doing this bracketing. But it, it's, I don't even think we're going to need these. These are just for safety. So I'm just doing one stop in either direction. Okay, so we got the kind of the standard shot from above with everything in focus, so we know we had that. Um, but then I decided to kind of mess around and do something a little more dramatic. So we came down lower with the camera and um, now uh, zoomed out to 200, backed up kind of closed in on it to create kind of like a, a field going back. And one thing I did here is I was shooting F16. The first one, I wanted all the texture possible. This one, I want to play with depth of field. So I started off with 2.8. Um, and this is one of the beauties of using TTL for this kind of stuff. I just had to dial in 2.8 and all the flashes changed around me. So I did 2.8, uh, then I did one at F4, and then one at 5.6, and then at F8, and I kind of played around with it and we'll be able to see which one we like, giving slightly more or less depth of field as we go. So when you're shooting this kind of stuff, it's important to shoot tethered if you can. You're gonna be able to actually see the shots. And I was mentioning earlier, I knew I had enough uh, range that I only had to do one stop over and under. That's because I looked at the images, the actual raw images at my computer, and I knew that I pretty much had all the detail I needed. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adarma TV, and I'll see you next time on set.